Hey everyone, it's Adam here and welcome back to my vlog. Now, today I am super high energy, super excited. The sun is shining, man. That vitamin D, it's a beautiful day, it's a scorcher. I'm here in my sunroom. It's not actually my sunroom, it's my parents' sunroom because I'm moving out in six days and uh, then I have my own place. Crazy, crazy. Look at this, look at this. Considering it is the fall, I think it's uh, September 24th. Currently, we're rocking almost 30 degrees Celsius, like 80 something degrees Fahrenheit. In Canada, you know, we're like late September, still rocking that 30 degree heat. Not bad, man, not bad. We had a big cold front come up here in Canada because of all the hurricanes and uh, everyone was worried, you know, everything was over. Although the trees have started dying, the heat is still present. It has came back with a force of nature and uh, I'm loving it. It is making me so happy. Now, mom and dad, if you're watching this, I have to tell you guys something. So my parents left to the cottage um, just to kind of beat the cottage for the last little while. My dad was already up there. My mom left me to stay here and pack to move out. And she's been up there for like four days or three days or something like that. Little confession, not a whole lot of packing has been happening. It's, uh, I know, I know, I know, it's bad. And they're coming home today. And my mom gave me a very nice call, letting me know, I'm like, thank goodness. It's gonna give me a little chance to clean. So yeah, it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna be able to clean up the place. So it's spotless, you know, clean my little area. And let me, let me show you what I'm working on here. Okay, see this? That is currently the pile that I've made to move. This is the pile of the stuff I'm taking so far. Snowboard, snowboarding gear, new pair of shoes, small guitar amp with all the built-in effects so I don't need to bring my pedal board and stuff, and my Nintendo Switch. That is literally all I have. And I have this big area. You guys might know our hot tub used to be in here. It's been moved out. So a big clear area, and that's where I'm going to put everything that I'm taking with me. You want to see these shoes? Want to see these shoes? Look at this. These are the uh, limited edition all-terrain ultra boosts. Check out this all-terrain pattern on the bottom. Of course, you got the boost material, this mid sock. Uh, they're waterproof, rope laces. Um, you know what? If you care about ultra boosts, you know, look up the ATR mids. You'll know what these are. If they don't interest you and you're like, okay, cool. I already have a pair of triple black ultra boosts, um, but these are for fall weather. They've got like a lining inside, but check this out. Okay, watch what happens when I put the water on the shoe. See how it falls? Isn't that cool? And then there's like no water on the shoe. Just thought I'd mention that. These are kind of fall winter shoes. In Toronto, they don't get a lot of snow and there's a lot of extra heat from the city. Cities create heat. So these I could even rock in the winter time with a nice pair of socks, but fall weather especially, they have, you know, their boosts for the cold weather. So I got myself some of those, boom. So yeah, then snowboard and amp and Nintendo Switch. I moved my computer up here. The iMac is technically in the pile, but I decided to plug it in instead of leaving it on the ground. So anyways, that's what I'm up to. See, gotta do a little bit of cleaning. And my office pretty much looks the same. Now that's the part that's boring and pretty much unfilmable for you guys. We got the de dehumidifier running 24 seven. Turn off that dehumidifier, but check this out. This is all my camera gear. Pretty much all this is getting sold. This is all GoPro stuff I have to deal with. You've seen all this. Just looking at this room, man, it's so daunting. There's so much junk to go through. So up until now, my process has been, you know, pick something up, say like this little camera lens cap. Then I have to decide where does it go? If it goes with a camera, what camera? Find the camera, put it with it. If not, am I selling it? Am I keeping it? Am I giving away? Or am I finding a place to store it here? If I am keeping stuff, where am I gonna store them here? If I'm taking them, how am I gonna package them? What am I gonna package it with? There's a lot of stuff to figure out here. And I tried to explain to my mom that what I wanna do first, since it's more fun and just easier to think about on my mind, the one task at a time sort of situation. I wanna just put everything I wanna bring in a pile up in the sunroom and then once that pile is done, and apart from clothes, but everything I'm bringing is there, then I can take a look at what I have left over and figure out what to do with that. But it just works better on my mind because so far I've been trying to like pick something up and I have 10 different options of what to do with this. Making the pile of everything I wanna bring, complete that pile and then move on, I think is gonna be a little bit easier for me. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Build the actual pile of stuff that I'm bringing. Look how blue I look. This is very fun and something that I've actually been dreaming of doing for like a year 
because this is the chance that allows me to not bring all my crap. The percentage of crap we own compared to how much we use, most of us, the amount of stuff we own compared to the amount of times we use it throughout the day or the week, you know, we have a lot of stuff we don't use. So this is a great chance to only bring the stuff that I use day to day, you know? And if I see something and I'm like, ooh, I might need that, but then I think, okay, have I used it in the past month? If it's a no, probably don't need it. And then there's some things like, I'm not sure, I don't think I need it, but I might, I'm, I don't wanna get rid of it. That's something I would leave here. You understand. <sighs> Time to get to work. So I'm just going through my desk and it occurred to me that you might have seen these little cleaning products in the corner. If you're wondering what that's for, I bought a PSP Go off Kijiji for 50 bucks, but I did a very thorough cleaning of it because when you buy used electronics, especially handheld devices, you know, your cell phone's the dirtiest object in your house, in case you didn't know. So I did a little thorough cleaning of this thing. Something I don't really talk about and you guys may not know about me. I'm really into custom firmware hacking, which is where you can like install emulators on different, I won't get into it. If you wanna see a whole video on the PSP Go, this console means a lot to me. It's actually what got me introduced to YouTube seven years ago and the whole unboxing scene, which I started on YouTube doing, so. If you want a video on the PSP Go, why I got one, what it means to me, what I do with it, all for 50 bucks, it's, I'm thinking about doing that. But yeah, I'm just cleaning it up here, making sure I got all my uh, glasses in check here. Oh geez, I'm gonna break stuff. This is the most flattering angle, you can't see it, but I got like, you can see a straw, I got a lot of, got a lot of stuff in my hands. Yeah, uh, see? Ta-da. So yeah, we're gonna chuck this stuff in the dishwasher. Shabam. You know, I like to get that dishwasher as full as I possibly can before I run it. Although I don't have to pay hydro fees at my new place I'm moving, so I don't even have to worry if the dishwasher's not full. All I'm doing is wasting detergent pods. Pretty cool though. This place is pretty much all included that I'm moving to. I'll give you more info on it when I'm there, but don't have to pay heat hydro, none of that crap. Fully furnished and uh, landlords are a fan of the channel. Fred, I know you're watching. Jasmine, you're probably watching too. They're, uh, I went to do a meetup with them. Um, just to meet them and say hi and stuff before he finalized everything. And Fred had already tuned into the channel, so he's seen everything, you know. It's a real wake up call when you realize you're actually putting your life on the internet. Cause I never meet you guys and you know, I kind of do my thing and you watch and we move on. But when you meet someone like your landlord and they know everything about your life and they know your girlfriend and they've seen inside her dorm and I, and I was like, how do you know that? And I was like, I guess I put it in the vlog. <laughs> it's a real wake up call. Now, obviously there's no cutlery in the bathroom. Okay. Pop quiz. If I ever do a pop quiz, this will probably be one of the questions. You guys know it if you're watching right now. Okay, I've never told. What is my favorite candy? Not snack, candy. And I'm not into a lot of candy like I, I used to be when I was a kid, but what is my favorite candy? The answer is Jolly Ranchers. I love the blueberry, cherry, and green apple, but I can't stand watermelon. But oh my gosh, those three flavors. Jolly Ranchers are great. Cause like with most snacks, you have to constantly be eating, but Jolly Ranchers, you have this one thing, you pop it in your mouth and it could last like 15 minutes. And all it's doing, this is kind of gross. It's the same thing as a sucker. All it is, is flavoring your saliva and you're swallowing your own saliva with a little bit of flavoring. That promotes uh, better digestion. And I have like gastro reflux, so my digestion system's kind of messed up. So it actually soothes, you know, it's like a lozenge, it soothes my stomach with a little bit of sugar in there. But yeah, if I ever do like a quiz on Twitter or something, what my favorite candy is, now you know. Okay, I did a round check. All the dishes are in the dishwasher. So let's crack open a pod, here we go. Cascade complete, not a sponsor. In fact, I think I'm using a different brand at my apartment. This is a, uh, what should I call that? Should I call it my apartment, my condo? It's technically a condominium, but do I call it my condo or my place or my house? It's not a house, maybe just my place, I don't know. Anyways, this is a little, plastic thing that dissolves. The one I have at my place in Toronto, you like rip open and just pour in, so. You know, little life lessons, all the different dishwasher detergent types. And away we go. And that's why I always say, shum shum slippity dop. Check this out, we just got a brand new fridge, forgot to tell you that. We had a top of the line fridge made by uh, KitchenAid, KitchenAid, and it was like a top of the line fridge. It broke twice on us. We got it replaced once and then the new one broke and we're just like, no. There's a Samsung fridge. We never got Samsung fridges because we didn't have a technician in the area who could work on Samsung fridges, but we found one now, so we're good. And my mom uh, left just about the time this got installed, so. 
I've been the only one using it. Works well so far. I don't know if you guys care about that, but on days where it's just a little more raw and I'm just kind of <laughs> telling you what's up, maybe you care that I got my fridge replaced. Maybe you don't. Whatever. Look how bright it is. My mom told me that she's gonna be having supper with us, uh, with me tonight, cause she's coming back from the cottage, but it's gonna be a late dinner. Judging by where the sun is. Can you even see that? Oh my goodness. It's like five o'clock. Uh, it's already the fall and the days are getting shorter. I can definitely tell. But um, yeah, it's already five o'clock and although she did say we're gonna be eating, she did say it's gonna be super late. So I'm gonna have some hors d'oeuvres. Is it hors d'oeuvres or hors d'oeuvres? I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna type in hors d'oeuvres. Oh geez, it's spelled with an H. Like H-O-R-D-E-R-V-S, hors d'oeuvres. Look at that, silent H. Okay, now you know. Um, no, I just wanted to tell you guys, the night she left, I ordered pizza, just a medium pizza. But here's what I used to do. I used to, you know, I had a craving for pizza and I didn't want to cook, so I'd order a pizza and then I'd have it for like two days. You know, I'd, I'd eat the pizza for dinner and then maybe have a couple leftover slices the next day. But what I did this time around was I ordered the pizza, but I used it. It's really loud in there from the dishwasher. I used the pizza as a, just a piece of the dinner. So this pizza has lasted me like four days because I've only had one or two slices a day and that's better for you as well. And then I've paired it with other things like rice or a salad or other things like that. So you, again, you might not care, but I just want to say medium pizzas last me four days. And it's a little bit more healthy this way rather than just having a crap ton of pizza in your gut. Grass. Tastes bad.